Mayor Turner, thank you so much for your leadership and for being here. Thank you, Judge, and thank you for your leadership, and it's good to be with you again uh, here at Transstar. Uh, just a quick report, uh, uh, the city of Houston is adding 27 uh, new cases, uh, 27 new cases uh, today, and, uh, and the good news is that we're not, we're not adding to the, uh, to the death count, so we will remain at, at 34. Uh, let me just say this, and I'm sure Dr. Purse will elaborate. We're saying 27, uh, but again, there may be some backlog in the system, and so uh, the number uh, may exponentially increase once that backlog comes through the system. So the, just a cautionary note, I don't, I don't get, want to get too comfortable in the numbers. The number that I do want to emphasize, though, is that for the third straight day in a row, we're not adding to, to the death count. So that number remains at 30, at 30, at 34. The other good news is that in looking at the reports that we get from the Texas Medical Center, the hospitals, uh, there appear to be more discharges uh, from the hospital uh, than people who are in the hospitals, at least in many in those um, uh, being treated for COVID-19. Let me just say that uh, uh, the evidence is clear. Wearing a face covering uh, will help slow the spread. Of, the, of this coronavirus and, and can save lives. And wearing a face covering protects other people from you uh, because you do not know if you are a carrier and can transmit the virus. You can be asymptomatic, uh, feeling great, feeling fine, but it doesn't mean that you're not infectious and that you cannot uh, infect someone else. Most people will not know they are sick and will have no symptoms or only mild to moderate symptoms. But for those who are older and have underlying health issues, the coronavirus can cause severe illness and death. And let me underscore the fact of the 34 people that have died inside the city of Houston, uh, all 34 died with underlying medical conditions. About two weeks ago, uh, in fact, I, I was uh, touring the Houston Food Bank, was the first time that I put on a face covering and I began wearing a face uh, covering following the CDC's recommendations to wear one in, in a public setting. And this is especially so when you're around other people. It's one thing when you're by yourself, uh, but when you're in public gatherings. I also instructed my staff and department directors to wear them while attending in-person meetings or working in the office. And during my daily news briefings, as you all very well know, I have encouraged Houstonians to wear face coverings even at home uh, when they are surrounded by other people um, because the reality is we tell people to social distance, social separation, but if you grow up and if you live in a household like mine where there were eight and nine, 10, 11 people in a two bedroom house all, you know, uh, and two bedrooms, a whole lot of people, when you say social distance, that was, that was just a practical impossibility. Quite frankly, when there were five and six sleeping in the same bedroom, uh, it was impossible to social uh, separate, so to speak. And so in those circumstances, wearing face coverings uh, can be very helpful in, uh, in dealing and coping with this virus. Um, I also said that with, res with regards to uh, requiring um, facial coverings um, that we wanted to get to the point where we would have a number of uh, facial coverings, masks, you name it, to hand out and, and distribute. Tomorrow at City Hall, I will announce a plan to provide um, more than 70,000 face coverings to people in our vulnerable communities. And as Judge Hidalgo sa said, they don't have to be the fancy ones. We're talking about face coverings in general. Uh, the one I'm uh, wearing uh, was made by a grandmother. In fact, she made me several to try to match whatever outfit I am wearing today. I am a brown and a little bit of blue, and so this is a blue face covering. Yesterday, I was adorned in black, and I had a black face covering. Uh, tomorrow, it may be, who knows, could be a purple day. Uh, I don't think I have a purple face covering, but it's all kinds. This one is different from this one here. And if by chance you don't have 
uh, either one of those, I always carry a handkerchief, and that too will work. Uh, the, the, the notion is to cover your nose and your mouth and to keep from infecting someone else, um, especially if you're asymptomatic but find yourself infectious. And so tomorrow uh, we will be uh, uh, announcing a plan to distribute an, a number of them. Um, my daughter, uh, Ashley Tamara Judge, um, is leading a, an effort with Lone Star Community College in Northwest Houston. Uh, where they are going to be handing out uh, face coverings and sanitizers uh, to other individuals in the community, in these vulnerable, vulnerable communities. And many other people will be doing the same. So we can all participate. We can all do something. And uh, one of the reasons why I am encouraging this, uh, for people who use transit, the bus, um, light rail, you want to protect the drivers, you want to protect the passengers themselves. People need to get used transit. It will be very helpful to put on a facial covering. And so those things are critically important. Uh, I also want everyone to know that information about cloth face coverings, including uh, do-it-yourself uh, instructions are on the Houston Emergency site, and that is HoustonEmergency.org. We have also shared the information on social media. And I know Houstonians have been asked to make many shared sacrifices during the pandemic, and we don't want to stop now. And so let me just say in closing, a lot of sacrifices have been asked uh, by people in our city and our county uh, for the last 40 days. And people have been gracious enough to make many of those sacrifices. And I know uh, uh, people have become uh, um, they want this to pass. I know we all want it to pass, uh, but April is a key month. April is a key month. And to the extent by working together in collaboration that we can continue to slow the growth of this virus and in many ways by working together, blunt it and blunt it now, now then the quicker we can return to some degree of normalcy. So thank you, Judge. Appreciate it.